Hi guys, Paul Pluto on the Paul Pluto channel today, guys. Paid reviews, paid reviews. This is paid review 20A15, 20A15. Quick, quick, quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Jager Lucultra Reverso Grand Act. Okay, now this here is for Pete. Pete, 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 Pete. And uh, Pete's come back to me because, okay, I have a collection. I've been collecting watches for a while. Now being a fan of yours for five years and love you. Current collection, man on a fucking moon. That's the Amiga Speedmaster. He's got a 46 mil Navi timer. I'm an engineering manager, so dig the slide rule, but don't judge me. He's got a Breitling Aven Blackbird Avenger for work. And now I'm after a Rolex. I'm hung up on the 11613LN. It retails at eleven thousand two hundred and fifty pounds, and resellers are just being fucking dickheads, living in dream world with their flips or used prices. I can get a one six six one three LN for around six thousand pounds. What are the positives and negatives of the two? I ain't rich, but want to make a choice. Uh, I ain't going to regret. Love you, Arch. Please guide me, man. So. I gotta be completely frank and honest with you. I've owned, I've owned, I've owned. Actually, I've never owned the new ceramic, but I've seen the ceramic, and I gotta tell you, I've owned Rolexes with the new clasp, and it is a big improvement. I think the ceramic Submariner is pretty good. In my view, if you're gonna buy new, you gotta get the bluesy. Get the bluesy. The black one is a bit of a. Um, it, the black one is a bit of, uh, look, the black is actually very cool. It's more elegant, but you'd want to get, the black one doesn't seem to hold its value. If you're buying pre-owned, if you're buying pre-owned, um, I, I would seriously be, um, um, I, I gotta be on, honest with you there, um, I'd be getting the blue. If you're buying pre, if you get buying brand new, get the blue. If you're buying pre-owned, the black is good. You want a bit of a discount there. Um, okay, so basically, what's my opinion? Would I go for a double one? The double one signifies its ceramic bezel. It signifies it's also got the improved clasp and bracelet. So is it worth so much more money? That's a good question. It's almost double. Is it worth it? And that's a yes and no thing. If you're a bit of a person who likes the vintage charm, I'd probably go for the older one. See, the problem is the really minty, minty, minty ones are a lot more than the doggy ones. There's a major, couple of major... Di the big difference seems to be the earlier ones were tritium. This is like the early 90s. So they got the T-25 dials. The later ones are Luminova, Super Luminova. The big thing is, is that in the clasp itself there, does the gold go through the clasp? People tend to prefer the gold in the clasp. Um, seriously, if it was me, I think a better watch to have would be the ceramic. It is better. It is better. It is a much better animal. I had a V serial number. This was probably the most desirable bluesy. The V was the last of the two-tone bluesies before it went ceramic. Uh, I think that was a kind of a... a um, um, I, uh, I gotta be honest with you, this guy here, he's just, I'm just chatting to him on the Facebook there. He, he said to me, maybe he would just get a, a steel bluesy. Two, uh, in my opinion, two-tone... Uh, is gorgeous that's, that's that's my go there um I, I think it depends what you want to spend i mean if you want to just if you just want a simple submarina i'd go no date pre-ceramic i reckon the pre-ceramic no date but if you want to go for a you're asking me the honest opinion seriously no compromise don't go half in you got to go full hog okay you're asking me the question what is better Okay, so having owned a few of these myself, if I was to get a two-tone subby again, 
Personally, I would buy a ceramic. I'd get the newer one, and I would get the bluesy ceramic. Okay, I have owned a black one. I owned a black one many years ago, and I thought I'd hate it, and I really loved it. When you wear it, you think, fuck, this is beautiful. Because it's black, it doesn't stand out like dog balls, like the bluesy. But it's got an elegant charm, very classy. It's still... I, I could quite enjoy the black. Actually, i I got to be honest with you. I think everything in my body is saying bluesy, bluesy, bluesy. But I think if you had the black version, the black dial, you could learn to love it. The two-tone, I think, honestly, I don't know if I would buy a steel date. I would, you know, just that steel date, just the, the non-two-tone. I reckon I would go... Look, the problem is here, i got to be honest with you, Pete, you're, you're bombarded with information. There's all this misinformation. I'm just going to tell you honestly my opinion. My honest opinion is I think the two-tone Submarina is amazing. Okay? I think you will love it. I wouldn't get the cheapest. If you get the cheapest, you're going to get one that's been used a bit, used and abused, a bit of stretch in the bracelet, you know, just things like that. I would be tend to, honestly, I, I reckon the ceramic bezel version, the bracelet improvement is, is essential. I'd probably stretch the extra money, okay? Now, if you can't afford it, beggars can't be choosers. I completely get it, but my view, <laughs> the pros and cons, the pros and cons, well, I, I think the double one, which is the, the later one, <clears throat> the big pro is that you've got the ceramic bezel, you have got the improved, the bracelet has been greatly improved. Solid end links, it's got the much improved clasp, gold in the bracelet, It's it just is a hell of a lot better than the pre-ceramic. I had the last... <clears throat> I had the best of the best pre-ceramic. The V serial number had the, the, the serial number in the row heart. Um, it was a great piece. Mine was bloody minty, bluesy. I loved it. I also had at the same time, I had the two-tone Daytona, the Maserati Blue Daytona. <clears throat> Maserati Blue Daytona had the newer class. Big improvement. Big improvement. Just how the she is. That's the part inside there folds in it, it, vastly superior vastly superior <clears throat> i mean you get what you pay for okay this is the problem you've got to work out i think the best submariner is the two-tone ceramic definitely um i reckon that is the best now you're obviously going to pay for that you've got to pay for that <clears throat> i think the ceramic is well worth the money the cheap Pre-ceramics tend to be, it's like buying a car with 100,000 miles on it, okay? It's not going to be virginal fresh, is it? This is just a fact of life. Personally, I I could honestly do a two-tone Submariner. I think I would definitely go ceramic. I would have to go ceramic. Um, I would probably go bluesy. I would go bluesy. I, 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 I really like the bluesy. I'd go bluesy, that's 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 my opinion. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Anyhow, I've been doing a bit of toing and throwing. Pete it seems to be asking me 50 million questions there. But man, he says to me, I want to be able to. This is what a lot of sub people are like. They're a bit. They're not really up to the expense. They want to buy a fancy motor, but they want to be able to get out if necessary. See, they really shouldn't be buying these things. Uh, I said to him, he says to me, what should I go for? He sends me all these pics. And I said, man, hey, hey, I think go ceramic. <clears throat> if you can afford it, go ceramic. Uh, <clears throat> I, I said to him, I said, it's hard to tell with all these pics. He's bombarding me with pics. I said, in my opinion, I think two-tone ceramic 
Submariner is the pick. Depends whether you can afford that, okay? See, what they want me to say is the cheap one is the best, but I'm not going to say that. I'm telling you the truth. <clears throat> I said ceramic, ceramic two-tone, in my opinion, is the best. In fact, I would prefer ceramic. I would prefer, sorry, I, 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 would, I would honestly prefer two-tone to a solid gold. I, I've owned the solid gold. Yeah, it was fun, a bit of a wank. <clears throat> bit of a circle jerk, but realistically, I think <clears throat> two-tone, that, that's the way I would go. If I was going for a sub now, that is my opinion. Yeah, and, and, and see, this guy's not being honest with me. He goes, I can afford both, but just want to be able to get my money back if needed. Man, if you're thinking about, <clears throat> you may need your money back, maybe you're not ready to buy, you know, maybe just keep that money. We can't just put everything on credit card and say, hey, 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 help me, help me. I said to him, it sounds like you should not be buying anything. We're in the middle of a fucking pandemic. He goes, I'm okay for work. I said, man, keep your cash. There's no guarantees in life. I tell you to buy something, you can fuck it up, you know. There's no guarantees. If you're not sure, it's not looking good, hold back. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I said, you, you seem to be jumping all over the place. Maybe buy nothing if you have no reserve. He goes, I have reserve. Man, man, fuck, fuck. Fuck, video, I just say to him, video, uploading, uploading, wait for video, wait for video, okay, uploading, uploaded in a few hours, there we go man, fucking get with the program, just so push, 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 he wants to do this, one second, quick, 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 slow the fuck down man. <clears throat> My honest advice is, seriously, don't just go for the absolute cheapest, <laughs> the nastiest. Get a good one. You pay a fair price, you don't regret it. You're going for the cheapest, you always regret things. <clears throat> My honest advice is, the best Submariner would be a two-tone ceramic. If you wanted to have a budget, if you said to me, hey, I want a good value, well, well we're talking a different thing. <clears throat> So I'm going to give you three recommendations because I can just see with you, you're going to ask me 50 million fucking questions and that's not how this service works. I make a video for you, you've got to work it out yourself. Number one, if you've got enough money, comfortable, everything is great, I would say two-tone ceramic. Okay, that's what I would do. Number two, what is the best one if you've got a limited budget but you want something cool and you want to be able to get rid of it, I would say to you, no date pre-ceramic. I'd get a no date pre-ceramic. And which one is the best long-term investment? I would get a 40 mil pre-ceramic sea dweller. 40 mil pre-ceramic sea dweller. I reckon that's got the up. So there you go. That's three clear. If you wanted a nice submariner just to enjoy the clear winner is two-tone ceramic. You've got to do the rest yourself. I can't lead you more than that. I give you the directions. You've got to work it out yourself. I don't know. This guy's in the UK. You've got to work it out yourself. You know, this is just jumping all over the place like a, a, a chicken without a head. You know, fucking slow down. <clears throat> Please, you've got to understand this. If you are very tight with money, things I, I run things to the wire, okay? When you have a pandemic, a recession, a depression, you quickly see when the water goes out, you see who is skinny dipping, okay? So if money is hard, I wouldn't be buying <clears throat> a expensive Rolex watch. Okay, don't buy a fucking Rolex if money is hard. <clears throat> you keep your money, don't buy nothing, just hold back. But see, everybody wants instant gratification. They want to pick me up. Quick, 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 quick. Man, it's not a $10 hooker, okay? It's not a £10 hooker, okay? You know, it's not £10 hookers. We've got to, got to think a bit more, a bit more clearly, okay? If you've got car payments... You got a family, you got a wife, a pregnant wife, you got a expensive lease on an apartment, 
and your job's not going so well, I don't know whether I'd be really buying a Submariner. Wait, come back later. The, the world is always going to have Submariners for sale. They ain't that fucking rare. They are not that fucking rare. They are one of the most highly produced luxury goods out there. So slow down. You're not going to miss out. Fear of missing out. FOMO. 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 <clears throat> Fear of missing out, man. And i got to be honest with you. Fucking act like an adult. Stop acting like a child who's got to get it, but wants to be safe and get out. Man, <clears throat> if you're concerned about things, don't fucking buy anything, okay? Okay, just be fucking sensible. We're in a pandemic. Things aren't going so well, okay? In the UK, they're fucked, okay? So just, just fucking slow down. Jumping all over this place. It's not, you're not going to make good decisions when you're drunk or erratic. So just, if ever you're, you're concerned you're making the wrong choice, just walk away for a day. Don't, don't even think about it. So I'm going to come back tomorrow and think about it. And in the morning, you'll have an answer. <clears throat> That's... That's the best way to do it. I, I remember I um, <clears throat> I wanted to sell my <clears throat> sold my Explorer two to buy a five one nine six paddock. I slept on it <clears throat> in the morning. Yep, yeah, it's the right decision. I want the paddock. I love the paddock. That's it. That's it. You make you just sleep on it for a day, then come back. You, you just jump, jump, jump. That's, yeah. You don't make the right decisions when you're pressured or stressed. Okay, so slow down. Rolex will always be there. They make a million of these fucking things a year. One million. Okay, so the world's not going to have no Rolexes. We're not going not gonna to have no Rolexes. We're having a unemployment rate probably 20 to 30%. Okay, so it doesn't take long to work out. There's going to be a few of these for sale. So just... Don't be so quick, just a fear of missing out, FOMO, 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 just slow down, slow down, wait, and just sleep on it one night, just sleep on it, you'll have the answer, if you want to buy it, buy it, if you don't want to buy it, don't buy it, I don't give a fuck, I like paddock and pussy, that's my, that's my genre, paddock and pussy, that's what I like, the pussy, you don't attract pussies, with Rolex, they're too common. You've got to wear paddock. That's the truth. Okay, that's that's the honest to God truth. Okay, so the pad Rolex does nothing for me, less than nothing. Paddock is where the pussy comes in. Okay, so I'm just telling you, man. Just being completely honest with you. Okay, so let's let's leave it at that. I'm giving you the advice. Guys, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and don't be afraid to put some nasty comments. And remember, man cannot live on Google Ads alone. I depend on these paid reviews to keep me going. Without your support, I'd sink. It would sink, okay? So please, 50 US dollars for a paid review, and I'll give you my opinion. See you later. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mark Goldberg for Archie Luxury AC3, the Pontiff Satan Deville. I want to sincerely thank you for having sat through this video because I know it was awful, but you know what? You do it for the greater good of humanity. 
Thank you so much. Now, a couple of quick pieces of homework. Now that you've watched this video, I would like you to hit thumbs up. If you must, hit thumbs down. But if you'd hit thumbs up, I would especially appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a really nasty comment and tell him how awful this content was. But most importantly of all, the entire reason that I am linking up with Archie Luxury in the first place. I am a published author. Let dogs be dogs. Available in bookstores, Amazon, and electronically somewhere near you. Remember, Archie Luxury. He's not just a figment of your imagination.